here we have a couple of digital gauges that take the place of the compound gauges that are on top. So I'm going to open this setup. I'm going to take these gauges off. I'm going to put the digital gauges on and we're going to just give them a quick run through. And as always, when I put anything together, refrigerant related, I'll be using some Nylog Blue. Okay, so we got the digital gauges uh, changed over onto the Series 41 manifold. And what I did is I took some hoses off an old manifold set to use with it because these have ball valves. I enjoy ball valves over straight connections because straight connections you can get refrigerant burn or quick connects because with quick connects you can't isolate things. With the ball valves you can isolate um, when you're troubleshooting, pulling a vacuum, um, recovering refrigerant, you name it, right? So, And the trick to maintain the seals on these hoses is not to over tighten. Because if you over tighten it, you will push these seals down, you'll compress them, and they will fail prematurely. And if you're going to replace them, which I recommend you do quite often, um, Yellow Jacket is a sweet little tool for that. Um, it's got a little pick on the end, which helps you get right in there to pull that gasket out. Sometimes they get stuck in there real nice. I just had a uh, sprinkler system start up behind me. And here, you open that up at the back. We got a Schrader core removal tool on there and inside you can keep your your extra gaskets. That one doesn't want to come out but you can keep your extra gaskets in there. Uh, you can fit four or five of them in there and change them out with this thing. Good to go. So let's turn these digital gauges on and see how they work. All right, this is a pretty straightforward gauge to use. So to turn it on, we're just going to hold the power button down. And to scroll through the 21 refrigerants available, we're going to hit the power button again, which is also an up key. And we can hit the, the down key as well on the side, which is also the zero button. So when you get to the refrigerant of your choice, you just leave it there. Um, you can see over here we got degrees Fahrenheit and bar. To change the units, all you do is hold down the middle button, which is the units and backlight button. Hit it again. There's degrees Celsius to lock that in. You hold it down until it changes. If you want to change it to PSI, scroll to PSI and hold it down. There you go. So you got a zero button as well. To zero, what you need to do is expose the gauge to atmosphere. Okay, and hold the zero button down and it will zero the gauge. This one's already zeroed for us. And it's also got a backlight. We just push the middle button and the backlight comes on. Now, the cool part about this is that the power supply, the battery type there, it's got a two year continuous operation without the backlight. Now that's, that's, that's a pretty long battery life. So you don't have to worry about changing the battery every so often. And it's got an auto off time of 10 minutes, which will shut the gauge down if you're not using it. So some pretty good features. And if you guys are on the fence about the digital age, this might be your step into the digital world by using a gauge like this. So that's a demo, guys. And as always, put your stuff together using Nylog Blue. Change out your gaskets often. And that nice little pick I showed you will do well for doing that. You guys have a good day. Happy HVACing.